Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Megan, and I am back with another Library Book Haul Predictions Revealed video where I'm going to be talking about my last four library books. Let's jump right into it. These, these were them. Alright, jumping into the first book that I read, it was, I dropped it. <sighs> It was Zainab Takes New York by uh, Aisha Haruna Atta. This is the cover. It's so I really like this cover. It's very attractive. I don't know. I, the orange, the girl on the cover, I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm like, cute cover. I really like it. As for the story, okay, we're going to start here. I rated it three stars, but it had so much potential that I don't want to say I rated it three stars and be like, Oh, it was a bad book because I don't think three-star ratings are a bad rating. I actually think that they're quite... It's a, it's a good rating. Um, if I'm rating things under three stars, that means that I didn't really enjoy it. Um, so, I, I know a lot of people give flack to three stars, but... I mean, this was a higher three stars. I just... I couldn't see myself giving it four stars because there... You can tell that this was her first novel, this author's first novel. Um because some of the writing was a bit clunky and there were moments where I just I'm like is this does she want this to be a romance because like she has this romance plot going on and uh, but it's not really like a sexy romance plot it's kind of just like she's just going and having sex with people because she just wants to lose her virginity and I was like eh, I could have done without that plot so that's why I gave it a three star but there were really, like, there was a lot of potential in this. Like, the whole, like, so she's, so, the main character, she's moved from her small town in Ghana to New York City, big, big city, um, in hopes to live her dream of becoming a graphic, graphic artist, I think it was. Um, and so, like, when she gets there, she's all this, like, she has to deal with, like, living in New York, first of all. And then second of all, she has, she starts to hear these voices in the back of her head and like they're the, her ancestors, like basically talking to her and becoming her guide. It was such a fun novel because like I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, I just wish I had liked all of the aspects of this novel. I just didn't. Um, but the characters that were in the story were also really good. Like I liked her as a main character. She was very real, very, very um, relatable in that sense. Um, and like she had like, uh, like her new roommate was hilarious. So, I mean, it made for really, really enjoyable reads. So that's why this is a high three, um, and not a four. So, but I do highly recommend this because it's, it, it is a lot of fun and it's a quick read. So I, I hope that she writes more. I, I haven't checked to see if she's written any other novels, but I would like to see like where her writing progresses. Moving on. The next book I read was Happy Hour by Marlo Gran Granados. It's this this on oh, this ominous looking cover. Um, this cover is about as as good as the plot was for this. Um, so I read this for Canada Reads 2024. It was long listed. Um, I rated it two stars. I didn't. It wasn't for me. Let's put it that way. It was not for me. The writing was good, but. This had a very aimless plot, and I don't... Sometimes, sometimes it will work for me, but most of the time, if you're just, like, a character who's just living, like, there's there's not really... You're not really living for anything, really, and then I get bored. So our main characters have just moved to New York City. Apparently, this is my theme this week. Um, and they're trying to make ends meet. They own a, they own a fashion stall or something, and... They're off doing that, um, but they, but they're barely scraping by. They barely have any money, but they're acting like they don't have that. Like that's not a problem. So they go out every day, every day for happy hour. They go out. They, they, they chill with different people every night. And I got bored. I was like, oh, okay, they're doing it again. Oh, okay. Um, there were very like there were little moments in between that I really enjoyed that I wish we got more of because they're these two best friends who um, decided to do this together. Um, and so there's like little moments in between where you see like their friendship and you're like, oh, okay, um, this is good. This is cool. And like the one, the, so the main, so the main character, it, this is supposed to be like her diary. Um, 
and like she's retelling the summer so basically this whole novel takes place during one summer and so like you it's it's divided like in into months um and so it's just basically recounting her summer so that's the plot um but like I say it felt very aimless and I was like did you learn anything because I don't know because it just kind of ended and I don't know if these characters learned anything um not that characters have to learn anything but it just was like okay so what was the point um, but the main character, we find out that she has lost her mom at some point, very recent, and that affects, like, how she's been living, and, like, there's, like, these little pockets of moments where it was, like, she was talking about mother-daughter relationships, and I just thought, like, why couldn't we get more of those moments in this story? Like, they were so well-written and so relatable and raw, like, I was like, th this was great! where's the rest of it so yeah this book wasn't for me it might be for other people but no it wasn't for me the next book i read was what comes echoing back by leo mckay jr this was also long listed for canada reads 2024 i rated it three stars but like i say a high three stars because this this was really heavy um like it's so short like it's just shy of 300 pages but it tackles or it tried to tackle a lot of really heavy topics. Like, it dealt with murder, it dealt with rape, it dealt with suicide, it dealt with bullying. Like, all of this in this, this very short book. Um, I think that was my problem. I don't want to say problem, that's not the right word. That was kind of, like, my, my thing with this was, like, we, we get to know these characters based on their traumas, but then we don't really... But that's all we know them for, and we don't really get to see them... We see them start to grow, but we don't see them continue, like, to flourish, I guess. And I just... I think I just wanted more because there's... The, the plot and the topics were so heavy and so dense that I'm like, we needed more time. I feel like we just didn't get enough time. I thought the plot was really good, though, because you have... So you have, uh, main character number one, who's who goes by Robot, um, but he accidentally kills a kid. They get into a fight and he accidentally kills a kid and it's on video. And you have our other main character whose name is Sam and she gets brutally assaulted and then that's also put on video and so both of these kids are dealing with the worst days, the worst day of their life on video for everyone to, to see and know about. So when Sam moves to this new school, um, she kind of connects with Robot but she connects with him through music before she learns about his past and I thought that was really cool that they were able to have this like bonding experience over music and how that was like going to be that, like that tool to help them um, heal. Like I thought that was really, really, like really, a really good plot. How many times can I say really in one sentence? Um, but I thought that was done very well. And I think the author also handled these, the, these topics really well. Like it was like, like, he didn't diminish the fact that these are really heavy topics, but he also, like, there was, like, a very thin line, and it was, like, he didn't cross it so that it w it made it, like, um, more than it need like, more than it needed to be. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it just, like, he just did a very good job of holding space for these big topics, but I just wanted more. So that's why this was only a three, a high three for me. If we had gotten maybe a little bit more and like to see them like a bit after all the everything that has that has happened and them coming together, then I think I might have rated it higher. But still a really good book, really heavy. Definitely check the trigger warnings if you're gonna read this. Okay, last book, The Caged Queen by Kristen Cincerelli. This one with the lovely the knife on it. Is that a knife? I think it's a knife. Yeah, because she was looking for a blade. A blade knife in the book. Anywho, um, so this is the second book in this trilogy. I can't remember what the trilogy is called. It's like then wherever this place takes place. Book two of the Iskari series. Um, so what I like about this is that it's a trilogy, but these feel like they could be read as standalones because this takes place with different characters. It's in the same world. But it's different characters and a completely different plot. Like you didn't have, you wouldn't have had to have read the first book to understand anything that was happening in this book. And I really liked that because I read my review and I was of the first book and I was like, oh, okay, like what's gonna happen next? And 
we didn't even see any of the characters from the first book. Um, the only character that we see from the first book is the, the main character from the first book, her brother, is now one of the main characters in this book. Um, and so, I didn't really like him in the first book, and I mean, this one, I think he, he was trying to get a redemption arc, and I didn't really care for him in this one either, but I don't think he'll be in the third one, but we'll see what the third one has to, has to offer. Um, but as for this one, this one was really well written. I really, I just like the way that she, that this author writes, like, she has a very, like, nice, poetic way of writing. Like, I don't want to call it, it's not really purple prose, but it's just, like, really well thought out and it's it makes the story super fast paced um and so I had a good time reading this um there's a lot of twists a lot of turns a lot of betrayals a lot of like you're like well, well what is gonna happen like is she gonna and like there's like this sisterly love because you find out like the main character her sister was turned into a, a bird I can't remember what kind of bird um so the the main character's brother from the first book, he was supposed to die, but the main character in this book, her sister died instead, and so now she's like, oh, I don't like him, so he has to die, so she's basically plotting against, um, against, and so she, oh, I oh, forgot that detail, that she married him for, for her kingdom, um, but she wants to plot against him to kill him so that it can free her sister from being a bird. Did that make any sense? I have no idea. But that's basically what this whole book was, and it was a lot of fun to read. So I enjoyed it. I don't think I said, but I rated it four stars. It was fun. I I had fun. I'm glad I ended on this one, because it was, it was fun, and it was not heavy. It was very light and fluffy. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's fluffy. But it was, it was oh, just a good time, a good read. I can't wait to read the third one. I'm very curious to see where it's going to go, because, um, like I say, I don't think it's going to include uh, these characters. They might be there in the background, but I don't think they're actually going to be in it. Well, I'll find out. But anyways, this video is getting long. So, these were the next, last, these, bleh, geez, these were the last four library books. They were kind of, they were okay. I would say they were okay reads. I didn't hate them, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't love, love them. But, if you've read any of these books, you can see my reflection of my head. <laughs> but if you've read any of these books, uh, let me know in the comments below. That is all I have for you guys today, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, a do your thing, and I'll see you all in my next video. So as I said, bye guys! <laughs>